All right, guys, so we're going to start off today's cut sectioning. Uh, sectioning is going to be real simple, um, basically two separate sections. Uh, working diagonal forward parting, separating the top and the bottom. So I go right at the edge of the eyebrow up to the mid crown, uh, clip that away. And then I'm going to go into the bottom. I'm going to comb that backwards. Uh, and then I'm going to work a diagonal back line to separate that low crown uh, occipital bone area with another triangle. So just separating that. And then I can go in with my clipper and clipper off that entire bottom section. So um, for me, I'm going in with a clipper because I can work quickly uh, and really get that hair removed. And it's going to give me a very uh, similar, if not the same result as doing clip uh, scissor over comb. So you guys can decide what technique you want to use. But I'm going to go through and just quickly work that clipper clippers all the way closed at its shortest point at a uh, number three guard So I go through I work that off then I'm going to go in and polish that doing clipper over comb so uh, comb choice for me this is a YS Park comb but um, any of you guys if you just get a clipper uh, a comb that is as wide as the clipper that tends to work really really well um, so you can just go through there now I take my trimmer my T trimmer and I work that around and now we're going to get into the cut with the tri razor I'm gonna use the tri razor to sketch out my links and to really create some soft lines throughout the cut and then I'll do some fine tuning with the scissor as well at the end uh, so our sectioning in the back is gonna be starting vertical and then we're going to work uh, pie shape sections all the way around following the head shape though um, not staying stationary I want to just create some layering in the form of the head shape so just see me working uh, slightly holding that hair straight out from the head and then working that tri razor through creating that layered effect nice little disconnect on this haircut but it's nice and soft because of the fact that we're using the razor so the razor is going to create some really nice soft lines in this cut I work my way all the way around the head the same exact way pie shape sections uh, or diagonal forward sections if you want to see that and then you can see that we've got our length now we're going to work our way through the top the way that i'm going to do this is i want to cut it at 90 degrees um, or at a rounded kind of shape around the head but with that being said i don't want to elevate it too high over the head at this point i want to build up the weight in the center of the head shape so everything's going to kind of come towards my body uh, as i cut it so you'll see following the round of the head working that razor through nice big strokes with the razor as well the the heavier that stroke with the razor the back and forth movement um the softer your line is going to be and the more texture you're going to create so this is one of my favorite tools it's a three-sided cutting tool so you cut a hundred percent on the one side that's what i'm using right now but you did uh possibly see me go in and i use the 25 percent cutting side just to remove a little weight in that fringe area as well so very versatile um it's kind of my swiss army knife i use it on almost every single haircut that I do along with using a scissor because I don't think one tool fits all um, but it's a it's a great tool to have in your back pocket literally and uh, pull it out whenever you need it to create some texture and movement remove some weight uh, and you can see the effect that it's giving this haircut here so just continuing through keep taking those sections bringing the hair over to me elevation is always your friend when you're trying to remove some weight from a haircut so You'll see that I'm lifting it slightly as I work through it. I'm not, um, I'm not bringing it down to the ear. I'm bringing it up above more that parietal ridge area. Uh, if you guys are confused on any of the uh, terminology that I'm using in this uh, video or any of my videos that you watch, um, let me know in the comments, uh, first off. But second, uh, I do have an FSE digital haircutting system available on Shop FSE. It's $49.99. It's got a PDF book that talks about terminology. There's eight step-by-step -step exclusive haircuts for that system. And it really walks you through and tells you guys how to do all the basic haircuts so that you're starting off on the right foot especially um you know if you haven't really studied up in a while or you're just getting out of school it's a great tool for you to train yourself or your team or your salon whatever it is uh, i'm going to go with the matte back scissor now and start creating some soft uh, edges around that fringe area so basically to explain what i did here 
is I went through and I cut with the tri razor my basic length that I was going for, or about the length I was going for. Now I section off the top in that little triangle kind of formation, and I just lighten up that fringe because I wanna to start to expose her eyes. And that's really what I was going for. So a little slide cutting through. Now we go in with Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear Memory Shaper. Um, I put that in the hair. It's a really nice light hold. Um, we'll call it a gel. Uh, and I just work that through the hair. It's gonna create a ton of shine. Uh, gives me that hold, keeps the cuticle smooth. You can see the texture already popping out, but we're gonna do a ton of techniques now, guys. So this is the Mizutani Type Z Dual Texture Scissor, also available on Shop FSE. Um, this is one of my go-to scissors, be, or texturizing scissors, because it has teeth on both uh, blades. So there's no standard blade on this. And what I love about that is as it cuts into the hair, you can see how easy it glides through. There's no blade to get in the way. Um, a lot of the times when you cut with a, a typical texturizing scissor, especially if it's not uh, great quality, you'll get a snag up um, in that. So you just wanna make sure that you have a good quality scissor, but I'm sliding through it just like a hot knife through butter and working that texturizing scissor through and just lightening up the shape. So I've got my overall shape using the tri razor and now I go in and just remove some weight, elevate the hair, point cut into it, create a ton of texture. So before I finish the haircut, I wanna talk about the color technique that I did to transform this yellow, bright yellow hair color into this beautiful pinky rose tone using the brand new Paul Mitchell the Demi Pearl Collection. Uh, basically what I did was I separated the top uh, and the bottom, kind of like I did in the haircut, and I paint the entire bottom section with 7P using seven volume, and I run that roots to ends all the way through. Then that top U section, I go through and I paint just the root 7P, and then I paint 9P uh, through the mid shaft and ends, and I kind of work it with my fingers through uh, just to melt uh, that 7P and 9P together, uh, which created this beautiful technique. You only have to process it between five to 20 minutes. I processed it for the full 20 because I wanted the full effect of the tone. I wanted to show you guys what this can do, uh, but you can see how beautiful that color turned out. All right, so finishing off with a little slide cutting with the texturizing scissor, then I'm gonna switch back, uh, go to my standard uh, Matt Beck scissor. This is a five inch scissor. I'm gonna do some slide cutting right in the front, lifting the fringe up. Again, this is kind of uh, your artistic vision. So the more texture you want, the more you do it. If you wanna expose the eye a little bit more, a little bit of slide cutting. Slide cutting is such a great technique to just soften um, the haircut. Now I'm gonna go in, this is called no thumbs technique. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a specific video on how to do this. Uh, but basically you just pinch the scissor, you take your thumb out of it and you work your way up and down. That's going to just lighten up the shape, add a little bit extra texture in there as well. But again, let me know if you wanna learn that. All right, so this is Paul Mitchell Invisible Wear uh, Cloud Whip. Uh, I love this product because it's so light. It's not like a typical wax or anything like that. It's very, very light, so you're gonna get all the natural texture is gonna come out uh, when you put this in the hair. Uh, and obviously, because we cut the hair this way, it's got a lot of nice uh, natural texture anyways. Uh, and you guys can see beautiful hair color from Paul Mitchell, uh, the Demi, this is the new Pearl line. I was blown away with how it was able to take bright yellow hair and turn it into this beautiful smoky pearl tone uh, at a level seven and a level nine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching.